Hello, people, and welcome to the third action script tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about functions. Functions are, um, well, actually, you've actually used functions before, like the trace statement, but I'm going to teach you how to create them too because they're a pretty important building block for learning the action script. So, let's get started. First thing you want to do is use the keyword function and a name and then parentheses. So we'll say the name add two numbers and a parentheses. Um, I'll explain the parentheses next chapter when we actually use them. <laughs> next chapter, this is in a book. Um, next tutorial you need curly braces. The curly braces are basically the inner guts of the function. It will define what the function is and every time you run this function it'll go through what's in the curly braces. So um, let's do what the function says. Add two numbers. So we got apples and oranges here. Um, we'll make a variable called sum. Again, not a great name, but it's for um, showing you what I'm doing. We're going to add apples plus oranges. And then we're going to trace that out to the screen. Sum. Actually, let's add a line before it so we know what we're tracing. How many apples and oranges are there? And then they're going to give the answer right after. Plus some. Close that off and end it. Alright, let's run this. Oop. Let's run this. Hmm. It does not say how many apples and oranges are there. Well, that's because, unlike just normally putting in code like like this, a function will only run its code or these two lines if you call it. So just like the trace statement, we have to call it. So let's do just that. Add two numbers. Curly bases. In fact every time you call it, it's going to run the same exact code. So we should get four lines saying how many apples and oranges are there? And it's going to be 15 every single time. Whoa. Someone's asking a lot of questions. So yeah, this is a um, basic function nothing too complicated here so um, let's review all the things basically you have to label it as a function you have to put a name and parentheses the parentheses are called parameters we have none right now I'll get into that later and then curly braces to define what's in the function then every time you call the function it will run the same exact code Anyways, that's all for the first part of functions. Next time we'll be learning about parameters and better reusability, because this doesn't really do anything right now. So I will see you next tutorial.